Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2000 Damon Challenger. This is a 330 model. Uh, okay, so we got this RV from the original owner. Um, it's in beautiful condition. Not saying there, there is a couple condition issues on it and I will point them out. But overall, uh, we got it from the original owner. This is someone who washed and waxed it on a regular basis. The RV's got a cover. Um, it's in great condition. It's got a satellite dish. Uh, just a beautiful thing. So uh, let's, let's take a walk around it. Uh, one thing this customer did too is that he put the Gale Banks exhaust system and cold air intake on the engine. And I mean, it's got a ton of power. It drives awesome. Uh, there's some scratches here. There's little scratches all around the coach. So I'll try and find them all and point them out. The tires, um, they run and drive great. They don't show any signs of dry rot, but they are two th dated 2005. So they're a little bit older. Uh, this storage compartment passes through to the other side and Damon did ABS compartments which are nice and light and strong. Uh, you got a beautiful awning. It's, it's all in good shape. Looks good. No stains, no rips, no tears. And again, this compartment also passes all the way through to the other side. Uh, in here, you've got the LP tank and the spare tire. And then this is the furnace and the refrigerator. Uh, Damon does a real nice job on these compartments where they're just nice, thick, well insulated. Uh, here's a fresh water tank and it's up above the floor or it's, it's protected. Uh, you got a water heater there, a little bit more storage there. There's an extra vent cover with it. And then this storage compartment passes through to the other side. Uh, looking under the coach looks good. Looks relatively rust free, a little bit of surface rust on the frame. So it looks clean. Um, here's another little issue, uh, the ladder, he, he backed into the ladder and bent the bottom and there, there's also a couple scuffs here. So coach has got 45,000 miles on it, you know, they probably put one scratch per vacation. Uh, a little bit of peeling, clear coat, uh, it's also got the dirt skirt, so if you tow a car it keeps the rocks off your car. Here's uh, the cover, so I haven't tested the cover or whatnot, but they bought this for this coach, they used it. So that's a great thing, a great sign that they took good care of it. You got a 50 amp cord here. And then here's your uh, sewer system. The holding tanks are all uh, protected and they're in what's called the basement. So they're heated and protected. And then the generator is right here. And it's, of course, a very good quality Onan model. And then you can see this exhaust pipe. So that's part of the Gale Bank system. Now just to shed a little light on this exhaust system, it probably only makes the uh, RV produce another maybe 20 to 60 horsepower, but they cost about $1,800 to have all that installed. So you get a little bit better ma mileage, a little bit better uh, power, but it's a very expensive system. So it's nice to have, very good quality system, and it's not nice to buy it new. Uh, these are all storage compartments. They open up, pass through to the other side. One thing that's nice about, well, it's locked, <laughs> but the door. Having a door on a year 2000 motorhome, you know, a lot of the uh, RVs, they didn't have doors up front. So it looks nice and clean up front. It doesn't look chipped up, but it, it, it does have peeling clear coat on the top of the bumper. So, all right, let's take a look inside. Now when you first walk in, overall impression is that the coach is in real good shape. The furniture is in great shape up front, it's got a backup camera, it's got a leveling jack system, we tested the slides and all that, they're all in good shape. And just looking under, real quick, you know, just looking under like the carpet runner and all that, looks nice and clean. Uh, you've got a sofa here that makes to a bed, you've got a double sink, microwave, got some storage, it's on a nice level too, it's not too high up. There's a range top and an oven, and then some real nice storage in the kitchen. You know, all these nice drawers. So, that's good. Uh, dinette here, storage over the dinette. And then, here's your uh, freezer and refrigerator. 
So um, one thing I'd also like to mention is that since we got this coach, we haven't even cleaned it. We have not cleaned it one bit, and it came, so it just came in very clean. This uh, 330 model uses a bathroom all on one side and a big bank of storage on the other. So you got these big closet doors. And uh, coming back in the bathroom or in the bedroom, got a nice big queen bed. Got shirt closets on either side and storage under the bed. So just a real nice setup. And then in the bathroom, it's got a very big bathroom. Uh, if you look all the way in here, you know, you've got closet storage in here or like a pantry style storage. And then two big built-in medicine cabinets. Damon did a great job on their closets. And of course, they're still uh, wholeheartedly in business today. They're owned by Thor. Um, so I'm 5'11". I fit in the tub nicely. And uh, I don't see any signs of mildew or anything in here. So overall, we've checked this coach out. The major systems work good and uh, the previous owner took great care of it. Okay, I just wanted to point out a couple little issues uh, that are in the interior. So one is right here. Um, the, the, this grab bar is what you use to lock the slide out. Now, uh, one thing I've noticed about these is not necessarily a necessary item. Most people don't use them, but this customer did. And so it, it just was against the wall, kind of wore out the wallpaper right there. Real solid, no problem other than that, just maybe you know, you could do nothing or you could just maybe put a wallpaper patch over it. And you probably don't have to use this thing. Uh, the other issue is just oh, another area of just peeling wallpaper. So just the paper has been peeling off the backside of this dinette. Again, no big deal. You could re-wallpaper it or do nothing with it. So we're just going to sell it as is. Okay, so I'm going to take the, uh, the Damon down the on-ramp and get on the highway. I'm just gonna give it full throttle and let you see what it's got. Amazing. This RV has the Gale Banks exhaust and intake system on it and it's got amazing power. So we're at almost 70 miles an hour, no problem. The RV goes nice and straight down the highway. So uh, we've driven this RV for a while. The engine, the transmission, the steering, the brakes, everything feels great. So I think the, uh, the next owner is going to love it.